Dear students, welcome to Geography Classes of Geo Mashakji YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss chapter number 10 of 10th class, India Geographical Position and Physical Features. See, India Geographical Position and Physical Features. In this video particularly, we are going to learn heritage of our country and the origin and the background of the word Bharata, India geographical location, extent, land and water boundaries and neighboring countries. Here, yeah. Dear learners, from the ancient times, we Indians are very much proud because we always exhibit unity in diversity. Slogans like Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam represents it exactly. This variety of our country in the entire world, it shows different type of physical features, climatic conditions and natural vegetations and different type of peoples. By showing all this, we can be called as a subcontinent not not as the country our country has all the characteristics to be called as subcontinent that's why india is great always let's move dear students to learn about india's position in the world india's position in the world see here India is a peninsula located in Southeast Asia, dear friends. See, what is peninsula particularly we are going to discuss here. The which landform surrounded by water in all three directions is called as peninsula. India is such landform. From east it is surrounded by Bay of Bengal. From west, it is surrounded by Arabian Sea. From south, it is surrounded by Indian Ocean. That's why India is called as Peninsula. And located in Southeast Asia. India is located in Southeast Asia. See, dear students, here is map of India, map of world. And India's position can be seen very easily here. See, this is the world map. In this world map, India is here and it is located in Southeast Asia. See, this is Asia. In this Asia, this is South direction, this is East direction. It is located in South east asia then it is also called as india and hindustan dear friends india and hindustan this country named india as because of the river indus the upper part of the himalayas the river indus originates and flow uh, westward this river has five tributaries called jhelum chinab ravi bias satlej this river is an ancient river in indian subcontinent that's why the country got name india from the river indus it has been named as bharata bharata it has been named as bharata because of the ancient ruler, Indian king, called Bharata, called Bharata, or B H A R A T H T A, Bharata. The country got name after the king. Then the country entirely in the northern hemisphere, dear friends. See, entire country is in the northern hemisphere. See here. This is the world map. This is the equator line. 
and this is the zero degree then this is called northern hemisphere this is called southern hemisphere see you can clearly see in here see here this is india comes under the northern hemisphere okay then it is wide in the north and tapering to form a triangle in the south ending in the indian ocean see dear friends india is a wide in the north side then tapering in the south to form a triangle like this this is india's exact position ending in the indian ocean let's move dear students here here is complete map of india see then we can learn here size of india see dear students india size is 32 lakhs 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometer in area india has 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometer it is the seventh largest country in the world students india is the seventh largest country in the world it occupies 2.4% of the world's total area see here it occupies how much 2.4% of the world's area this can be understood like this this is whole world in this world this part this is 2.4% this is india's area in the total 100% area this is total 100% area this is only 2.4% area there are 28 states and 8 union territories in this country dear students there are 28 states and 8 uts means union territories in this country and new delhi is also known as the nct national capital territory new delhi is also known as nct national capital territory as per the 2011 census india has a total population of 121 crores as per the 2011 census india has 121 crore population it has about 17.5% of the world's population 17.5 of the world's population then 2.4% is the world's area 17.5% is the world's population india is the largest country as far as population is concerned and ranks behind china ranks behind china india is the second largest country in the population dear students now we are we are going to see latitudinal position of india latitudinal position of india see here india extends from 8.4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes in the north latitude see dear students consider this is india see here so this is india's map then 8.4 minutes 8.4 minutes minutes to 37.6 minutes in the north students see here 8.4 this is 8.4 minutes then 30 7.6 minutes in the north le north latitude 37.6 minutes in the north latitude this is the latitudinal extent of the country the total length of the kanyakumari in the south 
to Kashmir in the north is 3214 kilometers from here to from here this is 3214 kilometers students when the islands are also taken into consideration indra point in the great nicobar islands located at 6.45 minutes is the southernmost point of the india here it is in the 6.45 minutes there is a point called indra point we will take a different color for this okay here this is indira point 6.45 minutes but mainland india starts from 8.4 minutes latitudinal position to 37.6 minutes total from kanyakumari to kashmir it extends 3214 kilometers then tropic of cancer or 23 and half north latitude passes through central part of india here from central part of india this one see here this is 23 and half north latitude passes through central part of india dear students okay then come to the point longitudinal position longitudinal position see here longitudinal position again this is india see here okay now longitudinal position with regards to its longitudinal position india extend from 68.7 minutes east 68.7 minutes east this one students 68.7 minutes east to 97.25 east longitude 97.25 east longitude put 2933 kilometers 2933 kilometers indian standard time is based on 82 and half east longitude 82 and half east longitude is the indian standard time is based on this particular longitude passing through allahabad indian time is ahead of greenwich mean time by about 5 hours and 30 minutes this is ahead of greenwich mean time 5 and 1/2 hours frontiers and neighboring countries then frontiers and neighboring countries see students here frontiers and neighboring countries this is again indian map see india being a peninsula it has both land and water frontiers too india has 15200 kilometers of land frontiers and 6100 km of coastline see 15000 200 kilometers 15200 kilometers land frontiers from here to here this one students this is the land frontier of india okay now coastline is 6100 kilometer this one dear students this one is the coastline This is six thousand one hundred kilometers. India shares land frontier with seven nations, dear students. India shares land frontier with seven nations in total. In the northwest, 
it shares with Afghanistan. See, consider this is India. In the northwest, it shares boundary with Afghanistan and Pakistan. This one. In the north, it shares boundary with China, Nepal and Bhutan. In the east with Myanmar, Burma and Bangladesh. This one. Sri Lanka in the south and Maldives. In the south Sri Lanka, Maldives in the southwest are also neighboring countries of India.